Hi, I'm Piotr uh, and I'm super happy that you invited me to make this video. And uh, about me, I'm 33 years old. I, um, I'm dedicated to the design um, since the last 10 years, I think. Uh, mostly I've been working as a freelancer, uh, but also for the last three years I've been working in an advertising agency as an art director of the, the team of the great graphic designers. Right now I am also working on the University of Arts as a lecturer on the graphic design department and yeah that will be it about me and uh, I hope you're gonna like the video of the case study I've just prepared for you. Okay. So I'd like to introduce a project that holds a special significance for me and I choose to share this project with you because it was both inspiring and challenging. And uh, yeah, I want to tell you about my dedication to this project and the result all I was able to achieve and I hope that during this video you will feel uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> there were uh, the excitement that I felt while working on this project and uh, the task the task and this design it was uh, to create an album of for Maya the Kovic competition it's a competition for the best diploma at our university and it's uh, something serious and significant a significant challenge because uh, the audience is uh, people from the industry of the professional, of the people who well versed in uh, design. And I handled this project uh, from the beginning, from the scratch until the end, from the initial client contact and the uh, design process and all the way to production. And uh, here we're having some details in this project. Uh, who is a client, who is a publisher, and how many copies we printed. But uh, much more details uh, going to be now. So the uh, working on this design, the first part of the process, involved setting the details, meeting, interviews with the client, after which I created a brief and defined the terms of the agreement, gathered the content and materials for the book and had a discussion about the production budget of the project. The next part was uh, creating uh, personas. Uh, I like this part and uh, this is a fictional recipient of my publication and this way, when I'm doing the personas, I make a design decisions not for myself, but for the actual recipients of my design. In this case, it was a Marta, a 22 years old student. Uh, she's interested in painting and graphic design. She's ambitious and passionate, and she would love to see this album to get inspired by the works of the older colleagues and uh, but also by attractive graphic design of the album itself and the second persona is uh, Tomek he's a lecturer at the University of Arts in Poznan um, and he loves the painting and conducting workshops for his students and the album for him is an inspiration for future teaching programs and artistic events at the university the next step, uh, this is actually the step I really love, uh, is creating the mood board. And I have a few favorite tools that I, that you probably know. <laughs> I often start with a Behance where I look for related productions and also get inspired by other fields like a product design. And then I'm using usually, uh, we well know by everyone, uh, uh, Pinterest, but here maybe I'm going to surprise you, then I love to using a Tumblr for my mood boards and th there's a real lot of work that uh, truly inspired me by it, uh, aesthetic and a poem. And yeah, Tumblr, Tumblr is uh, really, really great. Maybe not that well known by uh, comparing to Behance and Pinterest, but really, really great tool. 
and I'm also using uh, Google, uh, of course, for my uh, uh, research. And uh, yeah, after the research, we having the finally uh, time for the designing, and I begin the process by pre-designing the layout for each master page. And in this case, there was many master. Uh, masters to design and I started with the typographic grid which were also highly elaborate. It included pagination, uh, live areas, uh, it included a Polish text uh, and English text and leads, uh, captions uh, and many many others and in this case uh, also after that, I designed all the rest of the masters, uh, like the title page for artists, like a text page, like an, like an English uh, text page, and, and more. The next step uh, was to create, uh, to choose a typography, and of course during the uh, I had to make this decision about the, which typography to choose and I really enjoyed this part as well. There are many font foundries that I follow and admire and a few favorites include Pangram, a grill type, a clean, clean type foundry and the type and roll which is actually from my university and I know these people pretty well, they from my community. Uh, however, this time due to budget, and the uh, considerations among other factors, I decided to go with old classic and gold Google font. Uh, of course, I I using also a, a Google font, and it, in this case, uh, it, I think was good solution. Uh, from Google fonts, I choose a Roboto for the body text and the Roboto slab for the headers, captions and other texts. These fonts blend perfectly, having an extensive range of styles that work uh, pretty well in the aesthetic form and with uh, functionality. Uh, but not only, they, uh, the functional requirements actually was uh, one of the main things uh, because the Roboto have really wide uh, and a big family but also the, I love this aesthetics and it perfectly fitted to the my vision of this of this book and after I've completed the design of the master and the typography I had to design the entire content with uh, the frameworks I made and uh, during this time, I was also involved in the regular calls and the status meetings with the uh, with the client and the print shop. And uh, yeah, here you can see some results of this uh, mm, already printed book. And uh, but just before that, I had to also make a DTP for this book to prepare all the pictures and all the other files which were used for this uh, for this design. I have also been responsible for production care and material choosing, and uh, yeah, the whole project took for me around the five to six uh, weeks, and it was. Pretty great uh, time, uh, responsible work, and uh, yeah, I hope guys you you like it. Um, it was really great adventure for me, and uh, especially about the cover, I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> thank you for watching uh, this case study, and thank you for inviting me to create this uh, video. It was very important project for me. Uh, of course, I would love to show you more of my other projects, but uh, I understand that the time is limited. So I just wanted to briefly mention that I'm working also for most of my time on the product design right now and the branding. And I've been investing recently a lot of time in the UI design and the UX design. 
uh, training and I believe I'm becoming better at it <laughs> and uh, about the potential job I just wanted to let you know guys that I really love the style of the design uh, a few projects they they really great uh, I truly admire it and uh, uh, yeah I'm also I'm applying right now for a senior graphic design job but generally wanted to let you know guys that I'm uh, pretty open to other roles as well I hope you enjoy it and uh, thank you for your time and I hope to see you later bye